As you know, the Las Vegas Raiders just spent two days in joint practices with the LA Rams and there's plenty to be encouraged about. But let's keep this in perspective and remember this. What are we talking about? Practice? We're talking about practice, man. <laughs> We're talking about practice. We're talking about practice. We ain't talking about the game. We're talking about practice, man. So don't go looking to get your Super Bowl tickets just yet because it is just practice. However, the Raiders went over and had those joint practices with a very talented Super Bowl contender in the Rams, and they showed they have the talent to compete with them. And from what we've heard in past training camps, you can tell defensive coordinator Gus Bradley is already having a profound effect on the defense. What the Raiders need now is consistency, but the joint practices were definitely a step in the right direction. Tashawn Reed from The Athletic tweeted, The Raider defense had a few lapses, but it outplayed the Rams offense today pretty clearly. They forced three interceptions and played well against both the run and pass. No reason to go crazy, but it's an encouraging sign. And here's one of those interceptions by number 38, Russell Douglas. And of course, he's fired up. Derek Carr had a little something to say about the difference in the defense. Stafford rolled into Napa one year and was throwing laser beams everywhere, you know, and it's a little disheartening, you know, so it's good to hear that our guys were able to make a couple plays. Um, I'm sure they made their fair share too, but um, I expected them to do that from what I've seen. Uh, obviously, I'm, with everything, I've been just trying to stay like this, you know, but I think that everyone can see offensively and defensively that we have something cooking that hopefully we can be consistent and win some more football games. Now we look at some individuals like strong safety Josh Jacobs. This interests me because of how bad he was last year. Here's Reed again tweeting about a rep that he was in coverage one on one with Deshaun Jackson and he actually handled it. But the only thing I have video receipts on is his play against the run. Reed also tweeted about a Corey Littleton interception. I really hope this means he's back to how he was in 2019. But first on the video receipt is edge rusher Yannick Ngakwe, who would have had a strip sack. But since quarterback Matthew Stafford was able to throw it, Littleton got him. Another guy I've been worried about is cornerback Damon Arnett. We know what happened last year, but Reed had a good report on him in the joint practices. And Gruden had some praise for him along with the other young DBs. I'm really pleased with him. I thought he did an excellent job. Uh, very pleased with a lot of our young players. Uh, second year receivers marrying in the middle of our defense. Arnett had a couple good days. Trayvon Mullen uh, is stepping his game up. So we'll go look at this tape and I know it wasn't perfect, but pretty good. Pretty good against a very good offensive team. Uh, we're excited about it. And Merrick had two interceptions on the day. Reed reports this one here. And Vinny Bonsignor reports this one here around 44 minutes later. Here's a video receipt on one of them as it's just a return. And the encore after the two interception day wasn't bad. Here he shows range on a nice breakup on day two. I'm as excited as can be about this guy. Star edge rusher Max Crosby has taken notice. Here's what he had to say after day one. Yeah, you know, Trayvon, he's, he's done a great job since he's been here. He's a super humble kid. Um, he's got a Texas background, so, you know, I immediately was a big fan of him. And just seeing what he does, you know, every single day, he's the same guy, you know, and that's what you want, you know, somebody who's consistent. Um, and you see it, you know, in the first preseason game, um, he didn't make a bunch of big plays, but he was he did a great job and did his job. And, you know, first, just like you said, second play today, he got a pick, and I think he got another one later on. So um, just seeing him, just being consistent, that's what it's all about. And I think he's done a really good job so far. Here's a tweet by Levi Damien to establish that the Rams were not taking these joint practices lightly. It says Jalen Ramsey isn't treating this light practice. He's hitting full force. So we can assume that he was covering full force when Renfro beat him deep, right? That was Vic Tafer. Here's Damien again on another play Renfro made on him. And here's what he had to say about what went on between himself and Ramsey on the first day. No, I mean, he, uh, I like to just, I mean, 
if I would have dropped three of them in a row, I wouldn't have said anything. And so for me, I'm just going out there and doing my job and having fun and really just competing with myself. And uh, Jalen, if and, and that's the beauty of it. If I can beat Jalen Ramsey, then I can beat anybody in the NFL because he's one of the best. And that's how I approach it. And he got me a few times a day. And, um, and so hopefully tomorrow we'll make each other better again. And you got it, a rug sighting on a deep ball. His quarterback seemed to be really happy about the play. That felt good. You know, that, it, that felt good, especially I got hit in the chest. I didn't get tackled, but it felt good actually finally someone hit my pads, you know, because uh, Coach Gruden does not let anyone get close. But it felt, it felt good as to get hit, you know, a little bit and throw it. Felt like football again. But, no, to see – I know Henry had a couple drops before that. And, uh, you know, obviously some words were said on the sideline with Gru, you know, as Gruden gets uh, – and uh, to see him respond. You know, I think we saw in the two-minute drill, you know, he caught the ball and had a burst, you know, of 35, 40-yard gain. Then we saw that big play. We know he can do it, you know. And, again, he's so young. He's so raw. Uh, but to see him bounce back, he's, he's a competitor. I've told you guys, he's not just a try guy. He's a competitor. He loves football. He's tough. Uh, so to see him do that, I was really happy for him. According to this report by Damien, Jones might be ready to sneak up on some people this year. Here we got him on a deep out, nice catch. And now we got him on a fade from Mariota. Come on man, that's beautiful. And Carl was sharp himself, deep and underneath like on this out route where Henry Ruggs gets his feet inbound. And here he is accurate underneath to Josh Jacobs, who has a nice run after the catch. And we're not talking Raider football this year. We're not talking about Carr's connection to the tight end Darren Waller. Good to see him healthy. Carr is happy to have Waller back as well as others to continue to make big plays with. He particularly liked what he saw against the tough Ram defense those couple of days too. And this is what he had to say about it when asked. Well, you know, we got a couple of our big play guys back. You know, obviously we lost Nelly, um, but Henry's back, you know, uh, with that ability. Waller obviously is back with that ability. Um, Renfro's back. He has that ability. Um, he does it in a more sneaky way, I guess, but uh, he has that ability. And, you know, to to say that I don't expect or anything, that would be wrong. You know, I, we expect to hit those plays. Um, and I'm, I'm actually still mad. At, there was a seven-on-seven seven rep. It should have been a perfect day for Hunter, but we missed – connected on one in the back right corner of the end zone, you know, but uh, we fully expect to make those plays and, and knowing that it's not going to happen every time, right? They're, I think they were the best defense in the NFL last year, or if not one of, and, uh, you know, we understand they're going to have their plays, but for us to be able to, you know, show that our, our plays and our designs and our guys could win against the best, um, you know, gives us confidence, obviously, going forward, uh, knowing that they'll make some too, but Whenever you can make a few on a defense like that, you know, you feel good about it going going forward. The Raiders went over to L.A. to work with a very, very talented Rams team. And with neither side playing with the other, they went toe-to-toe -to -toe with them and they came out of it okay. They actually look good, so the talent is there. So we should be encouraged, but don't go too crazy because we talking about practice. <laughs> Thank you for watching. See you next time.